Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another brand new video on the channel for Ripley Village FC. For those who don't know, it's a club that I've taken over as chief executive. Uh, we've got a massive project being built there. Uh, really positive changes at the club because the club's got the ambition to sort of step up the leagues and progress. So this is yet another set of highlights for our game against Guildford United, the league leaders. Um, really, really, really big game for, for us. We are obviously battling down the bottom for points to stay up. Table should be able to be brought up by Yellen now. Uh, but essentially, we're three points clear of a team called Farley Rovers. Um, they've got two games in hand on us, though, and they've got a pretty decent run in. So we need to be picking up results as much as possible or hoping that they drop points as well. Um, but we've got faith in the team, got faith in the management. Either way, it doesn't make a difference. Um, we want to stay up, but no matter what happens, this project is a long term thing. So whether, even if we did go down, it wouldn't change things. We would just be one step further away from where we want to be, and we'll make a way back again with that. Uh, with that next step. But Guildford are a very, very good team. In the first uh, game, we played them at their ground. We were 1-0 down at half-time, but we lost 7-1. Uh, fitness getting the better of us on that day. Um, just a sort of a second-half capitulation, but it's football. These things have happened at times. Um, so we're hoping for a better performance today. Um, ideally, we need to pick up some points and get a result. Um, we've got some really cool drone footage of the green to show you guys. Um, the groundsman who does our groundwork and does an unbelievable job of it did some um, pictures of, or drone footage, I guess you want to call it, of um, the pitch from the sky. Now, it looks quite brown. I promise you, it looks a lot better than that um, when, you're, when you're actually there. But again, at this time of the year, for non-league pitches, it's pretty damn good for what we've got. Um, it does a job very, very well and uh, keeps us ticking over, which is brilliant. And then we'll see the usual stuff at the ground. I've, I've even set up a new tea hut that's worth you guys seeing. Any sort of way that we can get finance into the club is a vitally important thing. My own money's going into the club, but um, you guys have donated. And if you want your name shown in the video, there's a link down below. If it's a £2 donation or more, your name will go into the video. There's going to be awesome ways that you guys can get involved with the club. But let's roll the clip, let's see the drone footage, and I'll see you guys at the club. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so welcome to the green. Uh, back for yet another game today against Guildford United. It should be a very, very, very good game, but very difficult as well. Pitch is looking wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Uh, lads are starting to turn up now, so fingers crossed it's decent. Um, I'm going to show you what I've been doing today though, right? I've set up a tea hut. It's not really a hut, it's a table underneath some stairs, but it sells tea and coffee. And it's only a quid, so it's pretty decent either way. Uh, but yeah, we'll get with the sort of pre-match stuff going and uh, yeah, we'll get ready for the game. Be right back. All right, so welcome to the tea table. It's not really a hut, but it's a tea table. Um, but yeah, it's just a little thing to, to make a better match day. So you've got tea, coffee, that's what you get at the tea table really, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, not too bad at all. But it's going to be a difficult game today, but we are more than ready for it. More than ready for the challenge. Um, fingers crossed the lads can uh, put in a good performance. Give you more of the panoramic view of everything there. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys when the match kicks off for the highlights. I think Yellen will be here now, team. And you line up, I'll see you then. Oh, it's, it's Isaac. Oh, what time is it, Isaac? I'm a bit late. You're a bit late? I'm a little He's bit late. He's a bit late, lads. He's a bit late. That's a fine. I think they're going to find you when you get in there. You need to run, Isaac. Run. So Ripley Village gets underway here in the first half, shooting from right to left. Going to be a very tough afternoon playing against league leaders Guildford United who are in excellent form in general, playing very well this season. Managed a 7-1 win against us the other day when fitness really caught us out in the second half. Going to be a tough opposition. Lost last week, however, we did only draw to AFC Royal Holloway, which is a very good point. But we will be wanting more than that today. After a scrappy first few minutes, Isaac clears the ball upfield, gets cleared of the first man by them. Win it again in midfield, but again, just more looping balls in the air. Nothing really coming down of it, trying to get the ball under and play. They do win it here and manage to get a little bit of a breakaway. Number nine plays it inside. Unfortunate control, and that's cleared away by Ripley. Long throw into the box now, but I think that's Sean on the far side. Gets again cleared at the first man, however, back to Sean. Looks to loop it into the box, goes up, up in the air. One by Guildford again, more head tennis being played and eventually the ball does get down on the ground. They look to play it out wide but that's deflected out for a throw in to Guildford. Ripley now have an opportunity to bring the ball forward in the midfield area. Nice ball dinked into Chris who manages to get his foot onto it. 
poor control but does try a reversal unfortunately that does get cut out Guildford now looking to break after I can't work out who that was slipped in the midfield ball gets played through manages to beat his vendor beat another one find himself a yard to get onto his left foot but his shot is just dragged wide for a goal Isaac does now take that goal kick and he sends it up Phil clears the halfway line and Wayne wins the flick on no one running in behind which would have been a good opportunity to get someone in behind keeper has plenty of time though to pick it up and pick out his pass sends it long upfield very high and yeah everyone waits for it to come down and misses everyone which is poor defending there really have to win the first ball we do win the seconds however but lose it again need something to really stick for us now played inside and back out wide bit of a poor pass but it is cleaned up by Guildford falls to their left back who's looking for a pass plays it hopelessly over the top and comes to nothing Guildford now have an opportunity 30 yards out with an in-swinging free kick Whips into the box and that's to the guy who's free at the back post. Isaac fumbles it, defender miss kicks it, falls and Isaac gets down well to make the save. However, number six does poke it home from six yards out to put Guildford 1-0 up. A lot of opportunities for the defence to be doing better there. There's no excuse for the man to be winning a free header in that position. Five as well unmarked. Isaac probably could do a little bit better and he'll beat himself up over that. Then the next clearance has to go. Isaac does well to his recover. But again, number six is just goal side and gets an easy tap in to make it 1-0 to Guildford. Back underway from centre now. Ball played back once and out wide. Really trying to get our foot on the game. Trying to get a way back in. But nothing's really ever coming of the chances. Ball's played up by Sean. And we do get brought down and that is going to be a free kick on the far side. Nothing does come of it, however. Long throw into the box by Guildford in the next phase. We managed to clear it, get the ball upfield, looking for a one-on-one -on -one here, but a poor touch sends out for a Guildford throw-in and they've got a chance to reset. The visitors have the ball around the back now, poor back pass and closed down, but the keeper manages to get win the race there and get it get to it first. Played out, filled up to the right-hand side. Number nine cuts in and beats Tom with pace, but Tom recovers well to make a tackle and send out for a corner, but the ref has seen an extra touch and given a goal kick. Isaac now sends a goal kick upfield. Again, losing the first ball, but we do manage to win the second, but it's an aimless pass into the middle. They now loop the ball over the top and it's cut out. Falls to them again, played inside. They look to set it back and reset, look for a chip ball over the top, but it doesn't work out. Held off a bit in the air. Played out to number two, who skips past his man. Looks to make something out wide, uses his pace to get round. Tries to cut inside, cuts it back, but there's no one there. Half cleared away by Ripley. Yeah, half cleared. Falls to number nine, gets it down, but poor pass, and that's cleared away. Free kick now on the far side to be looped in for Ripley. Over everyone, keeper does fumble, however, no one's anticipating that, and there's no one there to clear up and get the seconds. Quite poor attacking play because that is a good opportunity for Ripley. Guilford keeper does eventually throw it out wide. Good touch there and taken down. Play into the midfield, who looks to spin but can't find anything, so goes back to the defence. Again, plenty of time on the ball. Press is slowly getting there, but not quick enough. We do win the ball there again, but falls to them. Very scrappy and breaks out. Quite luckily for Guildford to manage to switch play to number two. Acres of space in front of him as he drives forward, looking for the next ball. Plays it outside once, looking for the cross now of number 10. Plays it across, bobbles in front of everyone and somehow finds its way through. Ripley very slow to react to the quick throw in here, played inside. Plenty of time to pick out a pass and plays it through. George does well to win the first header but doesn't clean up his mess. Ball played over for the second time and the ball is slotted home past Isaac. The camera didn't pick it up because of the speed that moved. But we are now 2-0 down and we have to be doing a lot better than we are there. Really no excuses for George to not be going and cleaning up the mess. But yeah, we've got a lot of work to do now to get ourselves back into the game. Free kick played forward. Very poor free kick along the floor. They barge us in the back for absolutely no reason and give us a free kick a very cheap opportunity for us to put the ball into the box and we have to capitalize on these chances get a chance to bring it down edge of the box facing away from goal plays out wide loops over the top but again there's absolutely no one in the box to be finishing off these chances another cross played into the box we're getting a lot of free kicks and that goes out for a corner so many chances to be overloading the box but we're just not winning anything ball comes in again straight over everyone and straight out for a goal kick the longer the game goes on, the more you do think these missed chances from balls going into the box and not getting the end of them is going to cost us. Chance here is their player lets it roll across his body, has a shot from 30 yards out. Connects well, but does just drag it wide and puts it out for a goal kick. Isaac now takes that goal kick, goes out to the near side. Collected by Tom, who 
looks to go back. Isaac miskicks that and scuffs the clearance. Putting ourselves right under pressure here as we do have a chance to break out, but the poor pass and we lose it again. They're coming out down the far side now, win it back, but tussling in the corner, badly cleared. They've got a chance there. <sighs> Great touch, gets past one, and just off camera, he does put it into the goal. That's 3 0 Guildford. We've left ourselves a lot of work to do in the second half, and a lot of these goals are coming from our own defensive errors. Not too much we could have done down the right hand side, it was a good touch, but if we didn't put ourselves under pressure in the first place this wouldn't be happening. As you can see now he gets himself a yard and he does get a good strike away. Isaac well beaten, but yeah, we have to be doing a lot better. Back on the way now, Ripley nil, Guildford free. Doble has the ball in our defensive third, plays a quick free kick into the middle of the defence, gets brought forward looking for a pass to get us going, gets it into the midfield third, played out to Sean who Wins it back and plays it inside again. Being held up back to goal but does turn well. Plays it into the box and keeps off his line very quickly to claim that and get them going again. He's done very well today to win all the balls that have come into the box. And always been looking to play quickly. Fortunately for us they can't build anything from it. Long throw into the box now. One at the front post flicks on. Three at the back post has a shot and scuffs that. We've got to be doing better there if we want to get ourselves back into the game now. Corner for them on the far side. Whipped in. Unmarked again at the back post, heads it against the bar. We're giving way too many opportunities away here for them to extend their lead and really put the game out of sight. Falls to them again now, edge of the area. Spins has a shot and that curls just wide of the goal. Alex with a free kick now right in front of the bench is put into the box but again the keeper's off his line, looks to go quickly, sort of aborts that mission, slows it down but now does choose to go, poor kick and that's cleared out on the edge of the D, played out wide to, who is that, that is Michael, puts himself into the corner, backs himself in and he's now been doubled up on, can't really get away and Guildford look like they're going to bring the ball clear as they do tackle him well and get it away. Now they're coming forward again. I assume that's a foul and the referee's played on. He has played an advantage there, cutting inside on the left-hand side. Cut in again, but good tackle there. Really well recovered. Although it looks like another foul, but nothing's given. Very scrappy few seconds there. Can't really work out what's going on. But they do have another opportunity out wide to get the ball in. No, they don't. We've got the ball back. I haven't got a clue what's going on. And that's cleared for a throw-in. Half-time just about to come up now. 45th minute. No, had the time really been so far. 3-0 Guildford going in. As you can see, it gets blown up for now, but we've got a very big job to be doing in the second half if we want any chance of getting anything out of the game. Big job needs to be done in the second half now if we want to get anything out of this game. Michael just about keeps the ball in play. Can't see what's going on off camera there. They seem to have got possession back and they're turning inside towards us. No idea what their lad's doing, but he's doing a little dance and if he's happy, fair enough. Alex does well to win the ball back. Does that absolutely filthy skill. Probably the guy's not so happy anymore. Corner comes in from the next phase of play, but that's over the bar. Real succession of corners now coming for Guildford as they get another one on the far side. In swinging again towards Isaac, and that goes through everyone. You'd like to think, think the defence would be doing a little bit better and getting a, rid of one of the crosses, but we're putting ourselves under pressure here. Ripley now attacking on the far side, put into the box, no one there to finish it off. Ball goes back out wide again, looking for the second ball into the box. Here it comes, over the top. Leaps first, wins the ball, puts it into the back post, but the goal has been disallowed for a clear push in the back. A clear push in the back. A clear push in the back. Let me know in the comments if you've seen that clear push in the back. Ripley now coming forward again, Alex puts the ball into the box trying to win something. Bit of a rugby tackle at the back post, I'm not sure if you saw it, we'll see a replay in a second. They're now coming forward, however the ball is really well tackled out for a throw in. Replay comes in now and all I'm going to say is, you've seen them given. We're trying to get away, number 9 does pull him back, very difficult for the ref to see that in the crowded penalty area. If he does see it, potentially we do get the penalty but can't never have a go at a ref for not seeing that being at the back post and very difficult with lots of bodies flying about. Guildford now bringing it forward on the far side, looking for a cross to put into the box. 
beats his man, looks for a cutback, but has tackled well. Very scrap as we look to clear, dribbled around a couple of players, very well composed, and that is played upfield. And that's given us a handball, I think. A couple of minutes later now, ball's whipped in from the halfway line, appears to go for absolutely everyone, but it has got a touch in the way and the goal has been ruled out for offside. This angle doesn't do any justice, however, a few people on the day have been saying the lab was a few yards on side. I don't think I'm in a position to comment from this camera angle. Maybe here will help us. No, you still can't really see anything. Not sure what the keeper's doing to do a weird little jump and miss it, but very frustrating as we could definitely be well back in this game. Gil for coming forward now, clear it, and we give away a very cheap free kick on the far side. No real need to be giving a foul away there, and he's running away from goal. Luckily, the cross comes to absolutely nothing and is cleared at the first man. We've now got possession inside our own half in the centre, looking to get the ball upfield, but nothing sticking still. A couple of good tackles there, win the ball, winning the ball very well there. Brilliantly timed free ball here, but George is a lot deeper than the defensive line is. Isaac's very quick off his line to stop that being another goal for the visitors. Ripley coming forward again now, trying to bring the ball down in the edge area, spins his man but gets pulled down. Very good tactical foul there, but a chance to have a shot. Played in straight at the keeper who fumbles that onto our lad's head. Unfortunately, no real chance to get momentum or placement or power on that shot to guide it away from the keeper with the rebound, but Guilford clear their lines. Alex now looking to dink the ball into the box, puts it towards the back post, headed back by Ripley, heads to the edge of the area. Ripley have a shot and that loops over everyone into the bottom corner. That's Ripley village one, Guilford United three, but is that going to be too little too late? Guildford United getting us underway again for the restart. A couple of passes out wide and again looking to contain now as they don't want to be conceding anymore. Hoofed the ball upfield with a very aimless ball. However, it's worked out well. They've got a chance now to dink it into the box. Half cleared. Manchester to get the seconds on it. Plays it out wide. Looking to spin. Nothing did come of that. Another free ball over the top over everyone. Controlled once. Played through again. Dinked over the top, good spin, great chance now, has a shot and the keeper does very well to put that behind for a corner. That resulting corner now is going to be swung into the box, right footed, in swinging ball, towards the back post, Ripley win the first and win the second but just nodded wide, very unlucky there. Jasper now looking to break down the right hand side. Appears to be a good tackle, but no, he's managed to skip past his man. Jasper whips the ball into the box, can't see what's going on, but judging by the hands on the head, not too much. The ball's very well won in the midfield there, looking to drive and bring something going forward. Jasper again, since he's come on, has had a great impact. On the right-hand side, looks to beat his man. Faints one way, goes the other, cuts it back, and that's a horrendous tackle, which the ref hasn't given a free kick for. Um, yeah, not great. But that does bring up the full-time mark. Ripley Village 1, Guildford United 3. All right, guys. So there you have it. A 3-1 uh, defeat. But I'm going to be entirely honest. We feel pretty aggrieved um, by that. We didn't help ourselves by giving them a massive head start. The defending in the first half wasn't, wasn't great. You can see that. Um, we, didn't, we didn't give ourselves the best possible chance in terms of doing it. But we came our second half renewed. Um, and we've had what we believe to be two perfectly fine goals chipped, uh, chalked off. And... I've got my brother who's editing the videos of referee at quite high level and um, quite a few people we know that might be to ref. So we got their opinion on it. The first goal that was rolled out for a push, I mean, you guys would have seen the replay on it um, from the goal cam. It's never a push. You guys can, everyone can have their own opinion on it. But for me, that's if we're given that as a foul when he's, I don't think he's touched him. Um, it's a really, really good planted header into the corner. That's 3-2. The other one's a bit more contentious because the camera angle, um, we have it in terms of watching goals because we don't we're not here to try and be like look we're going to try and prove things are on side all the time because you just trust them um, trust in the process and and the way that yourselves and your opposition are um but I think from that camera angle we've asked a few people it looks like a perfectly good goal to me it doesn't look offside in any way shape or form um 
I don't think you can see any single Ripley player that's below or further past a, um, a Guildford man. In fact, when the ball's kicked, you can see uh, Guildford, I think it's a Guildford left back maybe, drops about two or three yards. So for one of our boys to be offside, it'd be, it'd be a sort of a very, very difficult feat to achieve. So to me, I think both goals are perfectly fine goals. And I think, I'm going to be honest with you, I think we've been robbed of a point that um, would be massive for us because Farley, and you'll see the table now, we're not get it up, Farley lost at home to Hersham. So have we been given a point that I think is rightfully ours? We'd be four points clear of them. Um, that one point cushion we could be big at the end of the season. Um, and I, I just don't. I don't like. I don't like what happened with the the disallowed goal. I don't know what the ref's seeing there, and I don't. I don't agree with it. I think he's he's poorly. He said after the game he thinks he got it wrong when he he asked to see back the footage. We showed him the footage, and he admitted the fact he said he got it wrong. Um, and when we said to him, "But you said you saw a push," he didn't really have an answer for us, um, which is frustrating. Really frustrating. And for the offside goal. We, you rely upon, at this level, we don't have neutral linesmen, and we should have. And as a club, I would want, and I'd happy to pay for, neutral linesmen. But a lot of the clubs in the league don't want to pay for neutral linesmen, um, or they can't afford to pay for neutral linesmen, because it is very, money's very tight at this level. Um, and so I do get that, but it stops things like this happening, because there's no then question or debate about someone's integrity, if they've done it or not done it. Um... Yeah, I'm frustrated. I'm not going to lie, I'm frustrated. And I also wish I'd set the camera up, bang on the line, but we don't go out to try and be like, yeah, look, you cheated, or look, you got it wrong, or whatever. That's not that's not our style. Um, but we're frustrated. We're really, really frustrated. We didn't deserve to lose that game. Um, and yeah, we battled back and got back into it. Shout out to Cookie, by the way. I have never met a manager able to get under my skin so much, but he's a really nice guy. Just an absolute wind-up merchant for Guildford United. And the amount of time, he, he did every trick in the book, and he's brilliant here. Absolutely brilliant at it. But we go again. It is what it is. We've got to go again. Next week, we've got an absolutely massive game at home to our local rivals, Horsley. We've got to try and get a result in that one. We need a win. Both of us down the bottom looking for points. Um, so it's going to be an absolutely huge, huge, huge game. Well done to Guildford United. Probably going to go on to win the title, in my opinion. They're a very, very good team. But if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe down below. Make sure your notifications turn on so you never miss an upload. But for now, I'm out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.